Good morning, friends. Welcome to the eighth Saturday after Pentecost. Let us center our hearts and our minds as we worship the living God. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord, to whom all things return, come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, to whom all things return, come, let us adore him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Behold my affliction and deliver me. For I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Deliverance is not is far from the wicked, for they do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who persecute and oppress me, yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I look with loathing at the faithless, for they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O oh Lord, in your mercy preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause. But my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because of your promise, as one who finds great spoils, as for lies I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. For them there is no stumbling block. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise. 
when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. A reading from the prophet Samuel. After the death of Saul, when David had returned from defeating the Elamites, David remained two days in Ziklag. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. When he came to David, he fell to the ground and did obsolescence. David said to him, Where have you come from? He said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. David said to him, How did things go? Tell me. He answered, The army fled from the battle, but also many of the army fell and died, and Saul and his son Jonathan also died. Then David asked the young man who was reporting to him, How do you know that Saul and his son Jonathan died? The young man reporting to him said, I happened to be on Mount Gilboa, and there was Saul leaning on his spear while the chariots and the horsemen drew close to him. When he looked behind him, he saw me and called to me. I answered, Here, sir. And he said to me, Who are you? I answered him, I am an Alemachite. He said to me, Come, stand over me and kill me, for convulsions have seized me, and yet my life still lingers. So I stood over him and killed him, for I knew that he could not live after he had fallen. I took the crown that was on his head and the armlet that was on his arm, and I have brought them here to my Lord. Then David took hold of his clothes and tore them, and all the men who were with him did the same. They mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and for his son Jonathan, and for the army of the Lord and for the house of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. David said to the young man who had reported to him, Where do you come from? He answered, I am the son of a resident alien, an Amalekite. David said to him, Were you not afraid to lift your hand to destroy the Lord's anointed? Then David called one of the young men and said, Come here and strike him down. So he struck him down and he died. David said to him, Your blood be on your head for your own mouth has testified against you, saying, I have killed the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God has been gracious to you, Mary. Will you conceive and bear a son, and you shall give him the name Jesus. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the temple of, in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths, 
in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. God has been gracious to you, Mary. You will conceive and bear a son, and you shall give him the name Jesus. The second reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> then the apostles and the elders, with the consent of the whole church, decided to choose men from among their members and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas, called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the believers of Gentile origin in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, greetings. Since we have heard that certain persons who have gone out from us, though with no instructions from us, have said things to disturb you and have unsettled your minds, we have decided unanimously to choose representatives and send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to impose on you no further burden than these essentials that you obtain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what is strangled and from fornication. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So they were sent off and went down to Antioch. When they gathered the congregation together, they delivered the letter. When its members read it, they rejoiced at the exhortation. Judas and Silas, who were themselves prophets, said much to encourage and strengthen the believers. After they had been there for some time, they were sent off in peace by the believers to those who had sent them. But Paul and Barnabas remained in Antioch, and there with many others they taught and proclaimed the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth from you. Now in glory you rejoice forever with the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth from you. Now in glory, you rejoice forever with the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son. A reading from a homily on the second letter to the Corinthians by St. John Chrysostom, Bishop. Our heart is enlarged. 
For as heat makes things expand, so it is the work of love to expand the heart, for its power is to heat and make fervent. It is this that opened Paul's lips and enlarged his heart. For I do not love only in words, he means, but my loving heart too is in unison with my words. And so I speak with confidence, without restraint or reserve. There was nothing more capacious than the heart of Paul for he loved all the faithful with as intimate a love as any lover could have for a loved one, his love not being divided and lessened, but remaining whole and entire for each of them. And what marvel it is that his love for the faithful was such, <clears throat> since his heart embraced the unbelievers too throughout the whole world. So he did not just say, I love you, but with greater emphasis, our mouth is open, our heart is enlarged. We hold you all in it, and not only that, but with room for you to move freely. For those who are loved enter fearlessly into the heart of their lover, and therefore he says, you are not constrained because of us, but you are constrained in your own affections. See how this approach is tempered with much forbearance, as is the way with those who love much. For he did not say, you do not love me, but you do not love me in the same measure. For he did not want to charge them more harshly. Indeed, one may see with what a wonderful love for the faithful he is always inflamed, as one finds proof of it in all his writings. To the Romans, he says, I desire to see you, and I have often planned to come to you, and if by any means at last I may succeed in reaching you. To the Galatians, he says, My little children, with whom I am again in labor, to the Ephesians, for this reason I bend my knees on your behalf, and to the Thessalonians, what is my hope and my crown of glory? Is it not yourselves? For he used to say that he carried them about in his heart and in his chains. Again, he writes to the Colossians, I want you to know how greatly I strive for you and for all who have not seen my face. And to the Thessalonians, like a nurse taking care of her children, being desirous of you, we were ready to share with you not only the gospel, but also our own selves. So too, he says, you are not constricted by us. And so Paul does not merely say that he loves them, but also that they love him, so that in this way he may draw them to him. Indeed, to the Corinthians, he bears witness of this love when he says, Titus, come, telling us of your longing, your mourning, your zeal for me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen show us your mercy o lord and grant us your salvation clothe your ministers with righteousness let your people sing with joy Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not ask and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, of your saving grace you called Mary of Nazareth to be the mother of your only begotten Son. Inspire us by the same grace to follow her example of bearing God to the world. We pray through Jesus Christ, her Son, our Savior. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings as we pray in our homes. I pray especially for each person on the parish prayer list Pray for the All Saints family, both near and online. We give thanks for our community, Lord Christ. Be with all those who are suffering this day. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you 
and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, announced by the message of an angel to the Virgin Mary, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for joining Morning Prayer, and I wish each of you a, a blessed and wonderful Saturday. Thanks be to God. Goodbye.